Lovell's Fishery in, I think it comes under Peterborough or Lincolnshire, one or two. Um, ideally, I would be on the river at the minute fishing for pike, perch, zander, chub. But as it stands at the minute, it's February 2024, everywhere is flooded. It's just full of water. So I've had a look online, the weather's cold today but not too much rain so I thought I'd just try a bit of carp fishing. So I've come down here, I've found a swim that's flooded but I've got my waders on so it shouldn't cause me too much issues. Um, aim of today is just to get some fish on the bank, I don't mind what they are. Um, my setup is set up for carp. But for how cold the water is at the minute, the water's absolutely freezing. I'll be surprised if I do get any carp. Um, I'm going to get three rods out there. Um, all of them I'm going to put on um, different baits, different coloured baits to see if what, what tempts it. And I'm going to be using my old faithful raven hooks on each rod as well and see how that goes. You can use micro barbed here, so it's the micro barbed ravens I'm going to use today. So I'm going to get my rod set up, and see what happens. really deep out there. Uh, the water is cold so I'll put my second rod on that spot now Let's see if it makes a difference. So this is on a um, bloodworm boilie on a blowback rig, topped off with a mainline topper. Because the swims are so flooded here, I'm going to have to walk out a bit to land it. Because I don't want it wrapping around the wood that's usually the end of the swim. So I feel how cold the water is from my waders though, it's absolutely bloody freezing. fish caught me off guard, I had a mouthful of biscuits at the time the rod went off. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of it. There's another glimpse of it. So this is the CFL Raven Hooks. The microbiled ones, they do tend to be the best for this fishery. I've caught so many fish here on them. This is that. 
come round to the idea that she's coming to see me. And it's in and out. So that's her. Not as big as I thought while she was in the water, but she put up one hell of a fight. Beautiful scale, perfect common. So look at the scales on that. Mouth's in fantastic condition as well, still got her whiskers. Lovely fish. So I'm not going to weigh her, but I'm going to say over 10 pounds just. Maybe. But yeah, I'm not going to weigh her. I'm going to get her back. Thanks for coming to see me. Fish number two on. Different bait on this one. This one is a uh, a pineapple wafter from Mainline. I need to find a better place to keep my net because I'm going to drag it out here every time get a fish on. Need to have a look, see if anyone's invented thermal waders because I am actually bloody freezing standing in this water. See, we have a lion. Don't do that. <laughs> this might be bigger than a first fall. Oh, this is powerful. Definitely got angry carp. Jesus. I'm trying to keep it away from the reeds, so I'm finna getting snagged. Beautiful fish. Oh, it's in the net. I have never caught such a beautiful fish from here. Look at the scales on that. It's fully scaled. Fully scaled mirror, absolutely beautiful fish. 
put up an absolute fantastic fight as well. Fantastic position to tell, and just look at them scales. Absolutely brilliant. That is probably the best looking fish I've caught from this lake. And at 16 pounds, I wouldn't care if it was five pounds, five looking like this. Absolutely beautiful fish. So, let's get arrested and get her back. So I've landed two fish now, first one about halfway across over there, second one about halfway across there, now if my third rod was just underneath this tree here but I've decided because of the two fish I've had have come from the deep bit in the middle to put my third rod out there so my third rod's now over here. So overall you know considering the water's freezing cold and you know we're at the end of February it's not going bad um, so with any luck we should catch a couple more let's see how it goes So it's the middle rod. Oh no. I think he's got it on the line of me. Right hand rod. Let's try and get him away from that. Yeah, he's definitely got my line there. Oh yeah, I can see it on the water. Let's try and bring him over here. See, I just moved my right hand rod to the centre because that's where my first two bites have come from. And that sort of has tripped me up a bit with this one now because now I've taken me right into one off the spot. And that is on a raven, oh, looks like a fairly nice fish again, that's a raven microbarb hook, 
Let me just concentrate to get this in because it's getting caught up on both my other rods. It's a day for beautiful looking fish. Fish number three, no monster, but once again, the scale pattern off it. The mouth is pristine. It's just beautiful fish, what can I say? How many days do you get where you catch multiple fish looking like that? In February. I'm absolutely soaking wet. I've got no rods in the water now because this one took out the other two lines, so time to get this little one back and get all three rods back out again and see if I can get another four. But what a fish! Well, that's it then. I'm going to call it a day. Um, I've had the three fish, uh, no losses. It's for, for a freezing cold February day, I'm not going to complain about that, I'm quite happy with that. So I've got one last rod out, so I'm going to reel that rod in and get myself in the car and get myself warmed up. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe for Carping for Life's YouTube channel and have a look at our socials. We've got an Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the socials for Carping for Life. So have a look and give us a like and a follow. Cheers.